Slow rollers, all right. Uh, usually the slow roller is a play, it's uh, pretty much a do or die play. So instead of the standard fill the ball, move through it, you're gonna be a couple different ways. We have a bare hand play we can do, which is pretty much a ball that's come to a standstill or it's about to stop on the ground. Usually you'll get them for third baseman, it'll be a bunt, uh, first baseman, you sometimes will get them, but it's more for third baseman uh, that you use the bare hand. Occasionally on the middle infield, more or less, more than not, you'll use your glove. All right, <clears throat> for a bare hand play, imagine this ball is at a standstill. All right, remember when you're coming in to fill the ground ball, you want to let your legs take you to the baseball. By that I mean this way. All right, your legs take you to the baseball when you fill the slow roller or barehanded outside of your foot. Your left foot, all you guys are right-handed. If you're left-handed, outside of your right foot, all right? If you can, if you can, you want to try to create an angle, all right? If you can, all right? reason being I want to try to go in the direction that I'm throwing a ball so if I'm charging and it's slow and I see it I want to try to get around it I'm outside my foot and barehanded and throw with the throw when you're charging a ball I can't tell you what feels comfortable all right for me at third I could throw up here I threw up here a lot when I was in the middle infield I can throw down I didn't have the same uh, uh, I wasn't able to throw as accurately down here from third base. So you guys have to figure out what feels comfortable to, to you when you're throwing. <clears throat> if you do throw sidearm, remember, your ball is going to come back. All right, so you're going to have to, if the first baseman traditionally you throw in here, you're probably going to have to aim a little here. Like I said, you guys have to figure that out when you're doing it. For me, I couldn't do it down here. I was more accurate up here, so that's what I worked in. Second one, you get slow roller is the bare hand one, I mean the, uh, the glove play. Same way, legs take you to the ball, all right? When you're doing uh, with a glove hand, this one's not off to the side, you want to actually feel it with your glove out in front of you. And the same way, all right, same way. I tried to get it outside of my ear or outside of my body when I was coming in the angle I wanted to take when I'm going to it. The reason being, like I said, you want to try to create an angle so that you're moving in the direction that you're going. That's a big angle, but I would try to come around, get outside of the ball so that when I fielded it, even though I was in front, I was moving in that direction towards the back. If you can, you don't want to try to field a ground ball and be moving away from the base you're throwing. You want to try to move in the direction you're throwing. The last one is a two-hand one. That's usually a ball more of a medium hit ground ball. Uh, same thing. If you always think about taking your legs down to the ball, <clears throat> then you'll be able to fill the bottom part of the ball. Okay? Legs to the ball. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, break guys off. We'll have some at third, some at short, some second, and then guys at first base catching throws and what I'll do is I'll probably start rolling them initially keeping them in here so you guys get used to using a bare hand and then we'll start hitting some <clears throat> 